Hey guys, so in this section, I'm going to teach you guys how to get a credit card without a hard increase. So by now, you should be familiar about, a, about what a hard increase and a soft increase is or a hard pull or a soft pull. Pretty much, I'm just going to do a little quick recap for you guys. A hard pull, it stays on your credit card credit report for two years and it actually you know makes your credit card go lower. So it can actually ding your credit report, your credit score by five to ten points depending on the bank. And a soft pull does not affect you know your credit score and does not stay on your credit report. So you every time you want to do this method, you got to make sure you know it's a soft pull or or anything in general in your life. If you if someone's ever going to run your credit, ask them: Is it going to be a hard pull or soft pull? Because soft pull does not affect your credit score. A hard pull does affect your credit score. It would actually go down five to ten points. Just something to keep in the back of your mind, guys. So the strategy that I'm going to teach you guys, it's called actually the shopping cart trick. I'm not sure if this is the first time you ever hear this term or it's something you're familiar, but pretty much you're able to get a credit card by you know tricking the, the, the website system into thinking that you're going to buy something and then therefore they're going to you know run a soft pull on your credit report and, and offer you a credit, a credit card. For, for a credit card from the website that you're using. So for this, for demonstrating purposes, I'm going to be using the Express website. I really don't know what they are, but I'm sure they, they sell clothes. So I already did this. Um, I had I already have a, a credit card with them, but I'm using my wife's information. So in case you see Virginia, yeah, that's my wife. So I'm gonna be inputting her information and just follow the step by steps exactly how I'm gonna teach you. And I'm I'm 100% sure it's gonna work for you. One thing that I do want you guys to remember is that I'm gonna include the instructions on a separate PDF file next to this video. So don't worry if. If you're not a visual learner or, or if you want to read it and watch how I'm doing it, feel free to do that as well. Alright guys, so before we start, there's one crucial step that you guys need to do in order for us to proceed. So one thing that you guys need to do is to you have to make sure that your pop-up blocker is turned off. So go to your go to your like your browser settings and just make sure your pop-up blocker is turned off. And also you want to clear your history and clear all your cookies and catch. That's that's before you do anything else, make sure you have done those two that those steps. After you're done with after you you done with that, just pick any of the of the websites of, in the list that I'm going to provide you. For this example, I ended up using the Express account because I know my wife doesn't have a credit card with them. I already have a credit card with them, so because I implemented this strategy to get this credit card, but I needed to you know I wanted to make a video guys to teach you and show you guys exactly how this process works. So this is why I realized that my wife does not have an Express account with them. So it, it was perfect. I'm able to demonstrate to you guys how this pro how this strategy works. But I'm gonna be using my wife's information. So in case you guys see Virginia, you guys are able to be understand why is it that I'm using her instead of me. So what you want to do for the first step is that you want to create an account. You know, type in your uh, email and your password. Fill out your information. Obviously, I did. You know, this is my wife. You know, and just click here. I think it said submit or accept. Oh no, it says create account. Sorry. All right, guys. So once you create an account, just you know, just start shopping. Pretend you're gonna just go on a little shopping spree. It's a fake shopping spree, guys. Remember, I'm not. You don't have to buy any of the stuff that you're gonna put in your checkout for this to work. So what you want to do is just place a few items into your shopping cart. It, um, in my opinion, it, it seems to work best when you have it's anywhere from a hundred to three hundred dollars in in your shopping bag or your checkout bag or, or whatever. If it doesn't work right away, guys, don't worry. Like, just add add another fifty or hundred dollars, and it, um, and just just keep adding. You know, the goal is to like trick the system into thinking you're gonna buy something, but you're not gonna buy anything. You know, so once you have about, you know, it, I ended up using, I ended up trying out with one hundred sixty one dollars, and you know, and then I was gonna add on, you know, so forth and so on. If I saw that the method wasn't working, sometimes even if you add five hundred, it will not work. But just keep trying and trying until you it works. And once you reach like maybe five hundred, and you realize it's not working, then just try it another day or try another website. Because sometimes you know, 99 percent of the time this works. But sometimes you know you do have that computer glitch where it just won't work. You know, it's it's just it just depends. You know, your luck. For example, like for me, I thought one hundred sixty one dollars. I was gonna give it a try. So what whatever amount that you have and you feel like okay, I'm ready to start the checkout process. You actually do need to start the, the, the checkout process. So you want to insert your name, your last name, you know, all your information. You want to navigate that page like if you are going to purchase something. Remember guys, you got to trick the computers into thinking you're going to buy it. So just place all your billing information or all everything that's asking you for. You know, but the, but one thing that I do want you guys to remember that type slowly. You don't, and, and another thing is that you don't want to use an auto feature that your computer may provide. You know when like... 
what I mean by auto feature feature is that sometimes your computer will like as soon as you press the first initial of your name, it's gonna it's gonna provide you the name and, uh, and type it. The computer's gonna type it for you. Don't you want to manually do everything that's asking you? So if it's asking for your name, manually type your name. If it's asking for your email, ma manually type your email. So forth and so on, guys. I need you guys to understand that patient is to your advantage. If it's working correctly, a pop up window will show up with like a like a credit card offer or, or some type of offer, and that's how you know it's gonna work. And also another reason you'll know it's work it's because it's only gonna ask you for your last four digits of your social security number. So in this in this process, I'm gonna press continue. You would click continue, and and boom, I got you know it says. Congratulations, you've been pre-approved pre for a, a credit card account. This is why you want to turn off your pop-up blocker so you can get these pop-ups when they uh, pre-approved you. So when when you see a, an image like this, this is this means that the website has already run a soft inquiry on your credit report, which is a good thing because it's not affecting your credit score and is offering you a credit card. So what you need to do is just press accept and follow the steps. It's just maybe another step or two, like insert your information. And again, guys, remember how I mentioned to you guys, you guys want to make sure that's only asking you for your last four digits of your social security number. And obviously, you just fill out the information. And I think in the bottom it says um, accept and apply. And then in this process, it's going to let you know if you've been approved or not. So just press submit or apply. And boom, I got accepted for, a, for a, well, my wife got approved for a, a, a credit card. So that's pretty much how you know. It's a very pretty easy uh, strategy, guys. Just invest maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Don't try to rush it. Like I said before, patience is your is, is to your advantage and patience is key. So I hope you, I hope you go out and you know apply this method and I hope you're able to get a bunch of credit cards. But remember guys, don't go out and try to do this all at once. You know, spread them out. You know, apply for three credit cards every two every two weeks. You know, like on Monday apply for one and then on Friday apply for another one and just keep going. Trust me, this is how I started and I've started increasing my credit utilization and this is what helped me essentially maybe years ago build my credit. So, and again guys, if you have bad credit, do not get discouraged. This does, this process does work for you, for people who have bad credit as well. Obviously, they won't offer you a lot. Look, just for a quick example guys, my credit score is 780 right now or 790, somewhere around there. It, it, it fluctuates. But I got to, even though I have a good credit, it only offered me $1,000. But then again, uh, other websites have offered me two thousand, so it just depends on the website and, the, and it depends on the the computers, you know, artificial intelligence at that moment. So, don't get discouraged if it only offers you five hundred. That's just free credit without getting a hard increase. Like this is one of the secret loopholes that n not a lot of people know about. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys implement the strategy. Check out the list that I'm going to provide for you and and a, and maybe there's going to be a store there. They actually have Victoria's Secret. And if I have any females buying my course. That Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, that I personally have tried, and I've, again, many people that have done this for them have gotten the credit card. So go ahead and go out and try them, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.